knowledge matters. I mean, why do we have IT entrepreneurs who go only in a few spots in the world to start their business? It's because even if knowledge is accessible, you need to interact with specialists. You need to be in the hotspot. Uh, yes, this is an indication that academic research correlates with private R&D. It's, it's simply the fact that the upper right, these are the countries in Europe that do the most innovation expenditures, technological entrepreneurship, and these also are the countries which inject uh, more than other countries in academic research and public research. That's the relationship. So, the drivers of technology-based entrepreneurship in Europe, lack of ideas or knowledge, I, I wouldn't bet on that. There is, we, we could do better. But uh, the second one, low expected return, because any business is driven by the expected return. I'm not talking about open source, open access, I'm talking about the entrepreneurial culture. You create a company, people invest in it, or you invest in it because of the expected return. And in that field, maybe that Europe offers a lower expected return, and not maybe, I'm sure about that, than the US, or than Japan, or than South Korea, or than China. What fields? Well, of course, we, have a, we don't have a European market. I know we have a single market, but that's for the press. There is no single market. One dream, and I'm, I'm telling that in many conferences, I'm sorry if I repeat myself, but when you sell something, from Amsterdam to Antwerp, it goes into import-export data. You sell something from New York to Los Angeles, they call it distribution. We are still far from that in Europe, and this is partly related to the agenda, uh, to the uh, digital agenda. Uh, so no market for technology, this is symptomatic. We still don't have a community patent, or uh, it's called nowadays EU patent. We have a fragmented system, and I, I like to talk about patent because it's symptomatic to what happens in all other fields of regulation. It's complex, we don't have a European market, it's complex, and it's expensive. This is just the illustration with patent, but you have it with the other fields of the digital agenda. This is the cost of a patent if you want to be protected in only 13 countries. You, you must be ready to pay 30,000 euro. Everywhere else in the world, it's less than 5,000 euro. I don't say that we should be as cheap as that, but we could do better. So fragmented system, no market for technology, and then appropriability. Because when you talk about, uh, in the introduction, 